Hello everybody, this is the Mothership here, and today I'm going to be telling you how to max your characters in Realm of the Mad God. This will allow you to be better at the game, you can get more loot, you can do more difficult dungeons. With your maxed characters, you'll die less often, which is really nice having max defense. The first thing to do is it's really helpful to have more than one character slot. If you don't have access to another character slot, the best advice I can give you is to play slowly, safely, and focus on maxing your defense first or go trade items in a server and try to get better potions and things for your character before you start playing on it. There's still parts of this guide that are applicable, but you're going to have to sort of just play slower on the same character. At least two character slots is super good. Three is, I'd say, the best uh, value number of character slots you can have. There's actually a beginner's pack, I believe, that you can purchase within your first week of playing that allows you to do this. It might be worth starting over if you just started the game so that you can get that beginner's package and have three character slots right away. So the thing you do with those character slots is first you make a knight and you get that to level 20. I recommend the knight because it's super hard to die on. And you're gonna level this knight up and you might get a pot or two along the way which is great, you can drink them on this knight, but once you get it to level 20 you're not going to touch it again. At all. Just leave it be. Now you're going to create a wizard, I recommend the wizard because it's probably the best and also one of the easiest classes in the game. So it's it's fairly hard to die on wizard because you can stay at a distance and you can still get damage in to get loot. This is going to be a throwaway class, don't drink any pots on it, whenever you get a pot, save it. It's completely fine to die on this wizard, you shouldn't put good gear on it or anything. It's totally okay to die, you're going to be mostly running around in godlands and like abysses and things like that to get pots. And you're just going to collect gear and potions for your knight. And also you might get some pet food along the way. If you have a low level pet, you know, you can feed your pet some treasures that you get in the dungeons that you play. So collect your potions and gear, and you might actually sell a couple potions along the way to buy some better gear for your knight. Everything you're getting on this wizard is going to go to your knight. Now max this knight up to 4-8 or 6-8. I, I recommend at least 4-8. Um, you can probably, you know, kind of leave off... Um, Attack on a knight doesn't have to be maxed since it doesn't max very high anyway. Vit and Wiz are a little less important as well, but definitely try to get your um, def maxed, uh, your speed if you can, and your dex. Try to get 4-8. If you can get 6-8, that's really great, but definitely prioritize like defense, speed, dexterity, and then probably attack, as they are the most important stats that aren't covered by pets. Now once the knight is maxed, use this knight and some throwaway characters like your wizard to max a wizard. So you're going to create another class that you don't play on until it's 4-8 or 6-8. The point of this is that you wait until the character is good enough that it probably won't die, and then you start playing on it. If you play on it while it's halfway maxed, it's still pretty easy to die, and then you lose all the progress you made toward maxing that character. Again, don't play on the second character that you're trying to max, but now that you have a max knight, you can use that max knight to get pots for this new wizard that you're not playing on. You keep repeating this process of using level 20 zero 8 characters, as well as level 20 4 8 or 6 8 characters, to max characters up to 4 8 or 6 8. You do this because it's so much easier to stay alive, and you can always get soulbound loot on these maxed characters. Just keep doing this, and then maybe once you have all your character slots filled and up to 4 8 or 6 8, then you can start buying mana potions or running dungeons for mana potions and life potions as well, things like tombs and shatters. You can also get better items for these characters. Um, make sure to give your characters at least some like tier 10 armor and sword when you, before you start playing on them when they're 4-8. I recommend old tops. That would be like a sky splitter sword, a myth shield, an abyssal armor, and an exalted HP ring for a 4-8 knight. That's a great set to have. Keep playing on these, and I recommend as your third character that you try to max this on. So first you're going to try and max a knight, then I would recommend you max a wizard, and after that I would recommend an assassin or an archer. Both of those are long range and both of those are really good in tombs. Not to say the wizard isn't, but for assassin, you never have to take damage if you don't want to. It's really nice. As well, if you're more of a melee kind of guy, I recommend Paladin as your next choice for your third character if you'd rather do that than something with a little more range, because Paladin is really good, especially for players without pets. It can heal itself and it does a ton of damage. Alright, that's basically how I maxed my characters in Realm of the Mad God. I hope you give this method a shot. Let me know if it works for you, or don't. Never come back to this video if you never want to. Anyway, thank you for watching. Questions, comments, suggestions, and criticism can be posted below. I'll see you guys in the next video.